Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Animal Crossing for Minecraft. Today, I'm going to go through and uh, show you how to do a few um, things that are in the game from Animal Crossing New Horizons. But as soon as we get this thing loaded up, I'll get my green out of the way and then we'll get started. So... Let me just get out of here. This is actually my last build I made, actually. <laughs> Excuse me, I, I always look all around my new, my um, sets here. <laughs> okay, let me get to where yeah, we want to place a white deck to DAL. Alright, let me get this out of the way and we'll get started. Hey, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a few things. And I'll show you what you can put up as well. So, today we're going to do Red's Trawler. We're going to do the vendors, placements, and that's it. So, the first thing we're going to do is make Red's Trawler. So now, I'm going to have to look it up because I didn't build it beforehand. <laughs> uh, let's see here. <sighs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a little water uh, area because we want. It, since this is taller, we're going to make it to where it can be in water. And, of course, you guys can build it anywhere you want. Uh, you don't actually have to build it in any position. I just like to do it this way. And, of course, if you're making this on the uh, actual... Um, world. I'm just going to, uh... Now, I'm not going to make it as big as I did for, uh... My TAL airport. Only because it doesn't need to be that, that big. But, we want it just big enough to where it's going to be, where Red Swallow can be. <coughs> So we're going to dig this all out. Again, you don't have to actually do this. Again, you can do this in uh, a regular world if you want. So, if you want to, skip on ahead um, to a point in the video I'll be showing, I'll be putting on the uh, information down below if you're on YouTube. If not, bear with me. I'm just going to dig this all out, and then I'll tell you what it looks, what we're going, what you're going to need to make Red Swaller from Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to see me do the tent, the original tent from the original games, let me know. I'll do the tent too. For today, we'll just use the trawler. because we're doing the. Uh, With this to an Animal Crossing New Horizons today. Just letting you know. I'll put that down there. Okay, so. Again, if you guys don't want to see all this digging, I will put a a uh, timestamp in the video to skip all this because I know you guys probably get bored of seeing me dig it all out I know you guys got to be 
getting tired of it. And one of these days, if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put the uh, stuff you'll need to the side for a few seconds so that way you can see what you need. For YouTube, I mean, not for your Twitch, because I can't figure out how to do that. Alright. So, we're going to fill this all up with water. Just completely with water. If you guys want to check out some really, I mean, really cool builds, my suggest maybe check it out TSMC. He's awesome. I'm not kidding. The guy is great. You think, you think I'm good at this stuff? Yeah, you guys ought to see TSNC. He's awesome. He is just great at building this kind of stuff. He's a lot better than I am, in my opinion. A lot better. I'm I'm just a noob actually if you ask me. I'm still learning a few things like what to do and all that good stuff. So yeah, if you guys want to check out a really good and I mean a really good uh President build stuff. Go check out TSNC. He is just amazing at this stuff. Seriously. All right, we got the water filled. I think to the part where I want to be. In fact, my stuff, my stuff doesn't even compare. Does not even compare to what he does. Seriously, the guy is that good. Yeah, I'm gonna leave timestamps on how, on what part you might be interested in. Like, for if you're interested in making labels or labels uh little cart then we'll do that then I'll leave a time step for that one uh, if you're interested in uh, maybe doing Kix's little cart I'll leave a time step for that if you're interested in doing okay so, uh, anyway if you're interested in doing any of the other stuff we we'll just go ahead. So, anyway, we're going to need, now that we got that out of the way, we're going to need some quartz slabs. We're going to need green concrete. If I can find it. We're going to need uh, wood because we're going to make a little um, way to get to red smaller. Um, we're going to need upward slabs. Again, this is all to you how you want to make it. Um, we're going to need a door. 
Let's see how much more you want to use. And I'm going to make my trawler a little bit bigger than Dredge's trawler because I want to play, put things inside my trawler. Um, let's see. Also, we're going to need... We're going to also need... Okay, I need to look at the images here. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. We're also going to need... Some oak fence. And then I'll show you what you guys need to make the uh, inside of the base trawler. We're also going to need... I might place some uh, white banners on top. We're not... No, wait, no. Actually, we'll use, uh, I don't know if we can use them. We'll see. Lanterns. We're also going to use. Oh, we're going to also use a green fly, a green, um, banner. Okay, so. Coming. We're going to count one, two, three, four. Five. So we'll make this into. Uh, let's see. Is that going? Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, outwards. And we might want to place some more water in there. <sighs> it's gonna be a lot. Actually. I just want to make sure it's like perfect. Okay. So, we're going to take that. Actually, because his is underwater, most of it's underwater, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use quartz slabs and quartz uh, block to kind of make the outside. So, we're going to go under the water. I'm going to place. One, two, three, four, five, and out by five. And then we're going to place one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. And then we'll place rows upon rows of quartz slabs. Quartz blocks. Actually, no. Actually, no. Uh, do that. We'll break it. Do it again. And on the front and up and back, we're going to place some green concrete. Then on the front, yeah, I think that looks about right. And then we'll place two, three, four, and five. Oh, by the way. You don't want your plate. You don't want red taller to be full of water. So I'll show you what we're going to do to uh, accommodate that. I'll 
place is up uh, about another place here. Alright. Okay. And we'll place another one to the front here. And maybe one right here. There's about a sip. Now, whoop, actually we'll place one more. I think we'll fill this up a little bit more. Now don't worry, we're not going to place it too far like in front of DAL airport and if you guys want again you don't have to place it here you can place it anywhere on the map I just trying to do this to uh, accommodate see how you guys like it alright so I'm going to fill this back up again Okay, we'll place another on top, like so, because in a way, you kind of want there to be a little bit of an opening. As it were. Okay, so there is the bow of your sip. Okay, so to make the top of that that uh, red taller, I'm gonna place sub Uh, slabs on top. Okay. Now, the reason behind me wanting to place some oak, this might be a little bit tricky. We want to place some stairs going up into Red's Twaller. I think I'm going to do it that way. Yeah, that looks good. And is this going to place... That, it kind of looks like that thing you go into when you uh, go up to where it's taller. Kind of. Alright. I'm going to place these all the way around. Now, place a door right here. You can place stuff on top. I'm going to do that. Plus, place stuff on the bottom. Kind of. Make it look like it's a two-story uh, taller. We can buy stuff. 
for uh, your museum. Alright, so, on the front, to the right, is a flag. Place it there, there's a flag. On the front of the trawler, place a couple of, um, Oakwood stairs, I mean, Oakwood, Oak, uh, Oak fences, and then you're going to go all the way around, and since we made this a little funky, we're going to place this, maybe, down to, that's a little too far. There. On top of those, I think we can place some on there. I don't know. Yeah, that works. Kind of think of those like the lanterns you can see coming up to where it's taller, basically. Now, if it's a little bit too big, We'll see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that works. That works. That works. I'm gonna fill this all in. Oh, and if you want, you can even uh, place some windows. And I might do that. I might place some windows in here. Yeah, we'll place a window right here. Maybe a light blue stained glass. Now, will that give you enough light? Probably not. But, we'll put some lights in here in a minute. In fact, I'm going to do that right now by placing a lantern right there. Okay. I think that about does it for the outside. We give it a good look around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Now, if you want, all right. So I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to place R E D R E E D <laughs> because people might not know what this is about. What this is? We're going to take our red manner. Our loom, our white banner, our white die, and red die. Okay. So, for the R, like always, top, horizontal. That vertical and diagonal. There's your R. Your E is going to be a left vertical, top horizontal. Middle horizontal. And bottom horizontal. Is it E? The D is going to be a right vertical. Going to take out a white. Put it in our red. Place a circle in the middle. Place our white back in there. 
place a bottle horizontal, a left vertical, and a top horizontal. This is a D. Now, as I said before, if you're making this in creative, you only need one. If you are making this in uh, survival, you'll need two. For the S, which is all we're going to use, is a top horizontal, a bottom horizontal, and a diagonal. There's your S. Alright. So, come over here. Place an R. Place it in this order. R, E, D, D, S. Reds. Okay. So, we're going to dump all those materials out. And we're going to grab just a few more materials. We're going to grab port stairs. We're going to grab some paintings. Oh, well, you know what else we need? Those. Some record, some music discs. Um, we're also going to need a to make kind of a art. We don't really, I don't know how to really make one. So what I'm going to suggest you do Unless you know how to make it. Is take an armor stand. Some paintings. And Red always has other stuff in his taller. So you can also grab some stuff. Maybe, I don't know, duke boxes. It's up to you. Don't, but don't use tools. Tools are not for Red. So maybe a jukebox, maybe a crafted table. I can find a jukebox here. There we go. All right, we're going to come in. Oh, and uh, we also need some lighting for downstairs. <laughs> All right. So. Once you come inside, you can place. Oh, no. You can place some paintings. Again, think of those like the paintings that Red sells you. Fake or not, is it is up to you? No. Yeah. It's up to you. Come down here. Come right here. Two, three, four. Oh, I need, some, need a sponge. I need a sponge. Hold on. S P O. No. N G E. Place yourself a little. Light. And I think Nope. Done. And down here, place whatever you want. Place a couple of lanterns down here as well. So, back here you can place a jukebox. Maybe another painting if you want. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Maybe a couple of paintings if you want. Perfect. And if you want, you can also place an armor stand, a 
a couple of them if you want. Kind of think of those as your uh, statues. Alright. The last thing we're going to do is going to place item frames all the way around. Place discs in them. Kind of like life preservers. Okay, so that's it for Red Taller. Now we're going to go down to my, uh, It's going to be a while because it's a long ways back to there. <laughs> Just follow me. I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, if you don't want to take the tedious task of waiting, you can just go a little further into the video. To figure out what we're going to do. By the way, that's how your red tall will look once you're completely fist. Okay, so. On certain days, certain characters will visit your island. From Leaf to um, Mabel to Label to Kicks. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, to make... Uh, Leaf's cart, we're going to need Oakwood, uh, Trap Doors, we're going to need Oakwood, we're going to need Oak Stairs, we're going to need, um, Iron Frames, and any kind of foliage you can think of. Because Leaf sells foliage. So I'm going to use maybe some oak leaves, oak sapling, and maybe a couple of flowers. Alright. So, I'm going to place one, two, three, and then place three more behind it. Actually, no. But, uh, we'll do it this way. Two. Three. And then... And then, if you want, you can place this a little higher. But it's up to you. You're going to place oh, trap doors on the end to kind of look like wheels. You know, for Leaf to pick up and move. And then you're going to place... Uh, whoops. Come on. Really? I can't place those on top of the. Oh, there we go. Then you place foliage like that. And you can invert them on the other side if you want. And then, to kind of make it look a little more like a regular one, to place maybe this kind of setting. 
perfect. And then, of course, to make kind of an overhang, if you want. And I'm going to do this. Since he's all about the green, we'll use green wool. There you go, we have an entire um, leaf cart. Pretty cool. I'd say that looks pretty decent. Alright, now I'm going to show you different types of vendors that sit on the floor. Now I'm going to do them in different styles. Just so you that you can do them any way you want. I'm going to use black wool and white wool. I'm going to use oak fence. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to use iron frames. Again, you can use whatever you want. Inside those. Uh, maybe some beds. And, uh, uh, we'll use oak slabs. Okay, we're going to place it right here next to uh, leaves. One, two, three. One, two. It's going to make a three by three square. And whatever you use it, just alternate it. On the right, place one, two, three oak fits. Oh no. Uh, no. beds on top like so to place a little there perfect and just break out underneath them kind of think of that like a little like a little umbrella if you will all right you can place, oh, let's place some, this will be like your, uh, um, this will be where Mabel or Label will sit, so you can place whatever you want. And if you want, you can place a couple of, I might place this one, but it depends on how big you make it, you can place banners. Now since Mabel or Label doesn't have a seat, I would just suggest doing that. All right, now we're going to do a little different for um, kicks. Now, Mabel's and Label's little vendor spot is the same. It's going to do what you did for uh, that. So I'm going to use red and yellow wool. And again, you can use whatever you want for like care. I'm going to use item frames 
We're going to use all kinds of, uh, oh, and, uh, again, we're going to need some kind of fence. I'm going to use oak fence again. We're going to use beds again. Something to hold it up until we can get it done. I'm going to use red beds. Red and yellow beds, actually. Red, yellow, and you guys just use different boots. Because Kix sells um, shoes in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Okay! I decided to have different ones. So, again, just like you did before, just place. One, two, three, one, two. A three by three grid. One, two, three. Sicky. Oh, put slab in the middle. keep going around and around and around till you have this kind of pattern. Perfect. Alright. Underneath this place as many of those as you want. Dump out those materials. Oops. I put my shoes on. <laughs> okay. Those can be like different shoes you can buy from. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorials. Oh, wait. Hold on. Perfect. Anyway, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorials. On all the stuff I've done. Um, keep in mind, there are a bunch, not being a bunch of other stuff I've made in Animal Crossing New Horizons. In Animal Crossing. From Animal Crossing itself, we made the house, we've made the museum, we made the cranny, we've made the different houses your animals can live in. We've made all the looks, crannies, upgrades, we've made, heck, we made a lot. Let's just say we made a lot. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I think my next project will probably be from Animal Crossing New Leaf, because I think that about does it for New Horizons. Because we got the trawler, we've got the AL airport and all that. But if you guys want to check those out, you know, hit that subscribe button. That makes it end. Hit that little notification bell. And of course, make sure that you like that. Hit that like button. Because that makes sure that uh, <laughs> that so that you actually like my videos. And if you want, you can even dislike it. It's up to you. Anyway, I'll see you guys on my next tutorial. And goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And see you guys later. Um, maybe this week I'll get back to live streaming. I don't know. We'll see. See you guys next time.